we're at the Ozark Medieval Fortress in northern Arkansas, and it's a project by a group of French nationals and American citizens to construct an actual um, fortress using only the skills and techniques and um, tools available to someone living in the 1200s, the 13th century. We, we live in Arkansas for 20 years now and uh, uh, we own the farm, you know, and uh, uh, I think the, the area, the Ozark, it's, it's a perfect sp spot for a, a castle like that, you know, it's just, uh, it's exactly the same shape than what you have in, uh, in France or in Europe. This is uh, something different rather than, you know, your normal construction crew coming out and running your power cords out and getting your saws out and doing this and that. This is all just, you break your rock and you load it up on carts and the horse brings it to the wall type of thing. It's all lifting and hauling and carrying, mixing. It's all hand done. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, and from this, we'll take our spun wool and we'll dye it with all natural dyes. Anything that we can find in the forests around us or grow in our garden. We have here indigo, makes a beautiful blue. Uh, rosemary. We have walnut. Right here, this is the bellows. And um, this pushes air into my fire. And the more air that goes into it, the hotter it will get. And the way it works is there's two chambers in here. And there's a dividing wall right here. And there's a door that's hinged like this in the bottom and in this middle wall. So that when this bottom one gets pushed up, when I pull the rope, it pushes air through this door in the middle. And then when it drops down, the door in the middle shuts and the one in the bottom opens and draws more air in. And then it pushes it through a pipe and then into a channel in the cut through the stone into my porch. It's a good workout. This is the medieval bow flex of the castle. When we say we, we are building a castle and it takes 20 years to, to, to finish, you know, the people, they say, oh, maybe we come back when it's finished, you know, we don't, we, it's no interest to come now. But uh, finally, we, I think they, 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 they get the message, you know, the, the interest is to come now just, just because we are building the castle. When, when it's down, it's down, it's no, you can visit the castle, but it's it, you know. But what it's interesting now is to, to see the way we, we are building. Spoon it out. You can kind of carve around in there. I'm a welding engineer, so you know if they asked me, I'd come in here with I-beams and welders and put this thing up in a couple of months, but that wouldn't be any fun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh, yeah, yeah. So welding uh, would certainly make this a faster process. Yeah, but you'd lose the whole idea. So I think this is quite good. They're even making their own mortar, their cement mortar. They're not buying that. They're chiseling the rocks out by hand. Uh, I think this is a really neat thing. But do you think they're crazy too? No, absolutely <laughs> not. They probably won't believe me that I'm working on a castle. Who wouldn't? <laughs> My friends. <laughs> how, how do you think you can convince them? I don't know. I guess I'll tell them, have to tell them, come to it. Tell them where it is. I look ahead and I see a lot to do, but I mean, it's kind of worth the effort and the while for me. Because every week it'll change. I mean, um, my quota is a cubit a, a day and some days I have trouble getting it and then some days I could lay three or four cubits. We're, we're kind of shooting for a thousand years. That's kind of our goal is that the castle will stand for a thousand years after it's built. And it's, um, when you look at Europe and a lot of the castles there, it's not unreal, unreasonable for us to think that what we're building will be here a thousand years. I think in some ways we're too high tech in our life and we take so much for granted. Um, 
when you come to this site and you see how primitive things were, um, it gives you a, an appreciation for the world that we're in, uh, nature, um, how much our uh, ancestors had to um, accomplish in order to survive and thrive. Um, those are the types of things that really um, enthrall me. It's one of those things that has to be in you to, to uh, appreciate what you're doing. You know, it's a 20-year project. It's a castle to begin with. It's not like you build a house, nine months later you build another house. You know, I poured concrete, like I said, for nine years. You pour a slab, you move to another slab. You know, it's 20 years. If you can do something like this with the little manpower we have and stick around till that last stone's being placed, it's a bigger accomplishment than, than I think anybody can build.